Hello and welcome to this Blender tutorial brought to you by the Louis Art. Today we'll be looking at simulating hair. We'll be simulating hair inside Blender. So from the demo video, you can see the core animation which I created, and I'll be showing you guys how I created that. Okay. Um, so once you've groomed your character, so it should look something like this or something similar, or you could even start up with a fair, uh, with a ball or something. Um, so once you have your hair, what you want to do is just click on this hair dynamics. So once you do that, and if you have your playback set to no sync, then you're good to go. We can preview um, the hair. So don't worry about this artifact. I think it's relate related to the GP or something, but it will not obstruct your learning if you um, something from this tutorial. Okay. So with that, you can see your playback and we are good. So let's just quickly go over some of the settings and some things you should have in mind when wanting to simulate your hair. So um, basically you have the steps, quality, so this is the more the number, the higher the quality of the hair simulation, but the more, the longer it will take to cash out the file. Um, you also have the ping or strength. What this basically means is like if I set this to um, 12 and we play this animation, um, you can see it's a bit, um, it, the movement is a bit restricted. So in a while, I will show you how to actually pin the hair particles. So let's set it back to zero. Um, so next we have the structure. So basically by default, it's set to two. Okay. So when you play it, um, you can see there's more motion to the hair so most time hair don't, hair, the human hair don't move so much um, so that's why you want to set it to something like 0.7 so it's you get some motions uh, sorry 0 0.07 so it is not um, moving so cartoonishly or something like that so 0 0.07 is a good starting point for you to play around and also you have the random random just means it just picks random hair and um, creates variation in the motion um, more efficiently and damping as i said it slows down the hair stiffness makes the it kind of act like the pain go weight strength it's like decrease the speed of the whole hair uh yeah so that's basically about the settings then you have the volume uh, in case you want to simulate some environment like water scenes and stuff like that um, yeah so basically what you should just really play with is the mass and the stiffness so those are the two main parameters that I think if you play with you can get um, some good looking hair simulation of the back so um, finally let's look at how you can assign different uh, motions to different parts of the hair. So if we select the hair and go into our particles edit mode and we have this weight brush selected, you can notice um, we have this red, greenish, blue and we have the blue. So what this indicates is that the blue is going to be very, it's not going to have motion. This is going to have some minimum motion and this will have maximum motion. So for you to paint it is, let's bring out our tool panel. So if you have your strength as one and you paint, it will be red. So if you have it at zero, it will be blue. Then as you guess, when you have it like 0.5, then you get like a blend between the two. So it's going to be green. So now we have um, difference in the motion. As you can see, this place is not is moving, but not so much. And the top part of the hair is completely stiff. Um, yeah, so that's basically all about simulating hair inside Blender. Um, collision is not supported right now, I think. Uh, yeah, so by the way, if anyone knows a way to fix this artifact, I don't really like it. You can leave it in the comments. Um, but apart from that, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you wish to see more from me, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Um, and if you enjoyed it, hit the like button button i have also created a patreon account where i will be uploading monthly vid uh, videos for monthly special videos for my patrons and if you can request videos you can 
request any personal videos and you can see more information in the patron so the link will be in the description um so thank you again for watching this tutorial see you next time